Hi, we're, we're the, the LA, LA Baby, Baby Gurus, Gurus and, and we're, we're back. back with more information for you on some baby things. Yeah. So we went over breastfeeding and bottle feeding in our um, previous video. So now we thought we would bring it to the next level and show and you some up. equipment right. and products that we're familiar with that we've used with many, many, many of our families. Yes. Um, and remember, we're not giving medical advice. We're not paid by Amazon, where our products are coming from. And we're but not paid by any of the companies that make the products. We are just sharing this yes. information with you because we feel it may be helpful because it would be so overwhelming to know what you need. And we have a lot of experience with what you need because we've done it hundreds of times. Yeah. So, again, we just we want to help. So, our first thing that we're going to talk about is breast pumps. Um, we like the... Um, Medela breast pump. And our clients, I would say, the Love majority it. of our clients have used the Medela very successfully. And it's easy to get on Amazon. Yes. So... Um, most of our clients get everything on Amazon Prime. They just get the Prime because with the baby, you need stuff all the time. So it's just easy. You don't have to take the baby yeah. out. It no. comes right to the exactly. door. So it's worth paying... Um, I think a little bit extra. I think it's ninety nine dollars a year. Well, and a, year. a lot of people already have it. Yes. So again, we like that Amazon breast pump. That Medela. It's on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Medela breast pump. Yeah, we like that. When you get the point. We're a little late eating dinner, so yeah, I'm a little foggy tonight. <laughs> okay. So um, along with that, um, we're gonna go to the next page and talk about. Um, breast pads. You're going to need breast and pads lanolin and the lanolin nipple cream, yes. which is real important after you breastfeed. Um, maybe let your nipples dry out just a little bit and then definitely put that cream on. And it's safe for the baby so you don't have to worry like, oh, if I'm nursing after, yes. it's totally made safe for the baby. And real easy to do. Uh, and remember, it will save you a whole lot of pain if you do it in that way. You see the product? I it's went there. to the page, but... Yeah, it, uh, let me see. Let me... Oh, there it's just slow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just slow. Like us tonight. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Where is it? Is it at the bottom? Probably. Yeah. The other thing that's really great is if you go on YouTube, Medela has a video that shows you exactly how to use the pump. So I recommend yeah. doing that. And we could even put that in the comments, um, pin it in the comments below as well for yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's that one's not coming up. Okay. All right, let's go to the next one. You got the idea about the yeah. breast pads. So basically breast pads and lanolin, you know, if you just put them into Amazon, you'll get it. It's, yes. it's not a big deal. Okay, next, after um, breastfeeding with bottles, yes, one of bottles. our favorite bottles. It is our favorite. We yeah. always, we've been using these bottles for how many years? Over years 20. And years. Over 20. Yes, very successfully. Is the Advent. And what, what we recommend on the Advent is um, only buying, like it com comes in a package of either two or three, only buy one pack of the small ones, the four ounce ones. Yeah, because, because they're going to be drinking more after yes. a couple months, so it's just, you don't need to have all those little bottles around. Exactly. Um, and the rest of the bottles buy the nine ounce bottle. And make sure that you, you know, you'll have the number one nipple with them, but Real make sure important. you go ahead because it's going to be a number one, a number two, a number three, a number four nipple for different stages of the baby's life. So the first three months is basically the number, number one, one nipple, but depending on your baby, some are a little slower, some are a little faster, but have the number two, order it, have it on hand yes. because this way it's, it's something that when the baby is ready for it, you'll already have it and you just switch it out. And one thing that's real important, if you look at the top of the nipple, um, it's uh, the number, it's on both yes. sides of the nipple. It'll say one, two, or three, and that will and tell you the flow of the nipple, which is really important, especially when you're breastfeeding. You don't want the flow of the bottle to be faster than the flow of your nipple. Right, so if you're pumping and sometimes the baby's getting bottles with the breast milk, which we highly recommend yes. when you're breastfeeding, you do. You want to, you'll probably keep them number one a little bit longer until the baby gets really efficient on the nipple before exactly. you switch to the number two. Exactly. So if the baby's on 
formula or breast milk in the bottle strictly from the beginning, you may move a little faster to the number two because the baby's only using the bottle. So that's something to take into consideration as well. Right, because I don't know how many times I've done a house call and they're like, why is my baby spitting up? And it's because the flow of the nipple is just too fast. Yeah, there's times that people have had, for some reason, they've already had the number two nipple and they didn't realize yeah. there's a difference and they put it on and they gave a, a, a newborn baby the number yes. two nipple. And so they either, you know, choke right away or they get it down, but then it's coming up it's because coming it's just too fast. fast. Yeah. So yeah, real important about And so you nipple. don't want to do that because also, you know, babies can have, um, one of the symptoms of reflux is spitting up. So you want to eliminate reasons for spitting up yes. that aren't reflux so that if you are starting yes. to look at that possibility, it's not while well, the baby's just actually getting the formula exactly. too fast. Exactly. Um, and another bottle we liked was the Even Flow bottle. Yes, the Even Flow. Um, let's see if we can find that one. It should be here. Oh, is it on the next page? Or? Oh, there's the bottle warmer, too, we wanted to talk about. Yeah, so the Advent has its own bottle warmer, which yeah. is really great. Uh, yeah. It works very well. We use it all the time. Yeah. So here it is right here. The yeah. Looks Advent. Fast Very baby good bottle. bottle warmer. Very good bottle warmer. And they also, they have the microwavable sterilized um, here, the system. There's different kinds. Some different people like kinds. the microwave yeah. ones. Whatever works for you. You know, whatever works for you. We generally use a different one, which we'll get into as well. But that one is also good, too. Yeah. I thought it was on the same page. I think it's on the next one. Okay. Oops. But again, all of these... Um, products are just stuff that we have used and have experience with with so um, we just really want to help you out so when you when you walk into a baby store you go like what do I buy and this will take it down take it down to where you'll know get some ideas of what to buy for some reason it's not we had everything up. prepared here <laughs> for us it did but anyway so you know we yeah, we sure You know, it, it's it's ironic that that would happen because we we like to recommend the second bottle, but we really do prefer the Advent. Advent. So That's our Advent is speaking to us right now yeah. and saying, you've done enough by recommending us. All right, let's see what's on the next page. I think that's it. There it is. There it, there is. it is. So there's the even <laughs> flow. <laughs> There it is. There it is. Okay, so and, this and is it's the even real flow. easy to hold because it's a curved bottle. Um, so like if, especially when your baby gets older, say, um, you're have to get up and move around with the baby still drinking the bottle. Because of its curve, it does make it's it easy. It's really so. easy to handle. So, so it, we it, found it, it, it. does work really well as, yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay. So moving on from the bottles, then we're going, ah, uh, the fun subject for us. Okay. So oh, pacifiers. pacifiers. So here's One the thing about pacifiers. <laughs> When a newborn has a pacifier, they're neurologically programmed to suck for soothing when they're first born. Yeah. And it's acceptable at that point in time because it's not until they're four months old where they're neurologically capable to self-soothe. Yes. So in those early stages, it's okay to use a pacifier. However, not all pacifiers are created equally. This green one, or it could be purple or pink, is a big round the one. Hospital. They give they it to you give right it to in the hospital. hospital. And they even have this thing where it's like a cute stuffed animal you could get attached oh, to it. Yeah. But this particular pacifier, if you use it too long, like past the first like month or two, mm, the trouble. baby's teeth, the architectural structure of the teeth are affected by this if you use it long term. And I know this firsthand from a client who just didn't want to change it because her baby loved it. And at 15 years old, she completed oh. her second, remember that one? Yes. Her second set of braces to fix the mess that her teeth came in at because she had it until she was about two. So we like to take pacifiers away about four months when we Speaking encourage sleep, sleep training. training. When we sleep train, that's when we do it. So the reason being is because they are neurologically capable to self-soothe at that point. Yes. So it's great to allow them to. But after a month or two, if you could get them off of this big round one, and, and this nook mm -hmm. one is orthodontic approved. It's made by um, orthodontics because it is... Um, it's good. It doesn't go in the, the area mouth, the teeth. where the, the, the structure of the teeth are impacted yes. by it. So it, there's no interference. 
No. So this is the one that we would say, like, you know, the first month or so, this one. But by month two, if you're continuing to use it, then s switch off. You'll, you'll thank yourself for doing it later when yes. the teeth are not all crooked and, and messed up. And the dental bills. Yes, yeah, exactly. So, again, we're just trying to help and save you in any way we can. Things that we've seen, experienced many, 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 many times, times over. Yeah. Okay, so moving along, what do we have next? Ah, so... Oh, the sterilizer. Yes, the masfiata. Yes. Which is very, it's a very unique system here. Very, a nice system, very too. Very nice. Yeah. It's a bottle warmer as well as a sterilizer. Because those first couple of months, you want to sterilize the bottle, sterilize the nipples. So... Um, they won't um, develop something that's called thrush. Yes. Which can be fungus in the mouth. If yes, it's like a yeast infection in the mouth. Yes. So you want to be able to keep the bottles clean, and this will help a whole lot. Yeah, especially lot. the first few months, you definitely yes. want to sterilize yes. all of the babies, you know, the bottles and the nipples and all of the breast equipment, the breast yeah, all equipment, your pop everything. From your kit. Yes. Yeah, you want to sure. keep all of that clean. So we really like this one. Yes, as well. very nice. Yeah. Next page. So you need um, bottle brushes to clean yes. the bottles. Yeah. So there's some nice ones. I mean, as well as the bottle rack. This I think the the, that's the Munchkin that. bristle bottle is usually the one that we, we, recommend. we recommend to get, and then it has yeah. the one so that you can get into the nipple as well, because yes. you want to clean out those nipples. Yeah, especially with breast milk and the fat. Yes, absolutely. Um, after say you can't clean it out right away, that fat will get kind of clumpy in the bottle, so it's really good to use the little piece that's underneath the bottle brush to get the fat out of the nipple. Yeah, absolutely. It really helps. You know, and then we have here, you know, the little drying station for after yeah. you sterilize everything, and then you can put it on there. And really with this, you know, just showing you something to just let you know this is an item you want to, you know, think about having. Yeah. And it's really great if you haven't had a baby shower yet and you're seeing this because you can oh, put a yeah. bunch of this stuff on your registry. Oh, yeah, definitely. And you don't want to... Um, put the um, formula or the breast milk in a bottle that's not fully dried. No. So these, this bottle rack will really make sure the nipples and the yeah, bottle Yeah, you let everything just like dry. hang and get dry. Yeah, because you don't want bacteria to build up. And there is the, the Munchkin high capacity dishwasher basket for things that you oh, yeah. would put in the dishwasher. dishwasher. Yeah, and there's just some, you know, yeah, some, some other more tools. Things. Yeah. So I think okay. that's good on that page. page. Let me go to the next. Oh, the formula page, isn't it? Yes. So now we're going to get into if you are using formula, which yes. you may be. You know, some people, we again, really like will be one. exclusively breastfeeding. Some people will be breastfeeding and bottle feeding with breast milk. And some people will be doing some breast milk and, and some, some formula, formula because they don't have enough milk. Right. And then there'll be people that will be strictly doing formula. So at any rate, if you're using formula at all, and whatever works for you, again, yes, again, if you want to strictly breastfeed, that's that's what you like to do, perfect. If you want to do both, that also works. So we're just again giving you suggestions. And if you are just on a formula you, and that's what's working for you, again, we've worked with all of all it. We've had many, babies. many families strictly breastfeed, but usually when our families are breastfeeding, they're they're bottle feeding some of the breast milk oh, yes. so that the fathers Always. can be involved. And then whenever we've been there at night, we don't have the moms nursing through the night. We want them to rest, so right. we take care of it. They pump and we do the, the feeds until we work them off the feeds at night. Right. You know, so we don't have her up all night because then it kind of defeats the purpose of us being there because we exactly. want her to get her sleep. Yeah. And then Which they always find they, they get better milk when they're getting the rest. Yeah. So if you're not in that situation, though, it's also good so the husband or grandma or whoever's going to be around that, Whoever, you sister, know, you trust that wants to help out with yeah. the baby can do a bottle and just gives you a break. Yes. Makes a huge difference. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So we like this type of formula by Similac. Yes. This one we've used easy for many Easy to digest. Um, easy to... Um, 
shake in a bottle and it's dissolve the very immune easily. Immune support, the brain and yeah. eye development, all the really good stuff in there. Yes. Do you have the other one? Yeah, the organic one. Was it at the bottom? The Earth's Best, right? Yeah, Earth's Sensitive. Best. Yeah. There it is. So again, another that really one. good one is oh. um, Tap the so Earth's Best. It. it has yeah. low lactose sensitivity. You know, we used to have a different one that yes. was a lacto-free. We used for years and years oh, and years. Oh, by and, years. and we, we loved, loved it. It was a perfect it. one. Oh, and then they started goodness. changing it, and they got rid of that. And I remember one of my clients. We so well, sad. both of our clients, because you did yes. take yes. with yes. you too. And um, she actually messaged me to say, oh, my God, Laura, I always tell everybody about that formula. It was the best. And they took it off the market. And yeah. I was like, yeah, I know. We were very and, sad about Yeah, that. she was really sad. She's like, well, probably not having any more babies. So yeah, that's good. That's good, yeah. But so, they, these are also really yeah, again, good, too. Oh, well, here it is. Yeah. yeah. There we go. You know, it keeps going down. But anyway. It's okay. You can see yeah. it. It's the organic By sensitivity infant formula with iron. Yeah. And, yes, by Earth Best, as Sherma said. Yeah. So that's one we like there. And then, where are we going here? Oh, there they are. So there are the breast oh, pads yeah, we, were looking. we were looking for earlier. Yeah, but we, we found go. them. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't figure out where they yeah, went, where but they, there they where are. The, uh, breast pads and the cream that we talked about in yeah, the beginning so of the video. If you can see them right here, we've yeah. got the yeah organic bamboo nursing breast pads that we really like yeah and Medela has them as well too which of course we like Medela as well yeah so all of those things work and you know again and the Lansanoa stay dry disposable nursing pads so yeah got a variety there mm -hmm. and again we're sharing this with you because we really like Amazon and those first couple of weeks, the baby should not be out except for a doctor's appointment. So this will help you to order it. Or like like Laura said, yeah. if it's a baby shower, you can yeah. put it in your registry. Put a bunch of the stuff on your registry. Yeah. And we're going to get into other things that you'll need for the baby in a later video as well. Um, so we just wanted to go over the, you know, the breastfeeding and the bottle feeding. And of course, you want to have plenty of burp cloths for when you're feeding. Oh, yeah. Oh, just just yeah. buy a bunch of them. Because yeah, because, you'll be you know, them a lot. somebody might visit you who, you know, that you're really close to, that you love, who wants to hold the baby. But um, they may have a little perfume or something in their clothes. So you always want to put that burp cloth up on the, you know, before it the baby's face touched their um, material yes, absolutely. Or outfit or whatever they're wearing. And also, which um, we want to mention as well, it's not right here, but they do have it on Amazon, is you want definitely to be washing the baby's bottles and all of the breast feeding equipment with baby dish detergent. They have yes. like, Baby Gannix has one, yes. and it's very good, but just as, as long as it's a... Four babies, but like I said, baby yes, genetics is um, good. So seventh generation. Seventh generation. They have one a good as well. one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you know, basically, I think that's pretty much yeah. it for today. For this one, yeah. yeah. Um, and we hope um, you will come back and leave comments. Yes, please comment down below. You know, things that you like or what your experiences are with whatever you're using, and you know, feel free to um, you know just let us know what your thoughts are. Yeah. And um, if you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. And we hope to see you again in the next video. Bye, Bye for now. Take care.